Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with that. Today I have a program review slash tutorial slash um, this might save your keyboard if you have a Corsair K65 RGB, K70 RGB, or K95 RGB. Um, as you know, these keyboards don't work on a Mac, but I have found a way to fix that and I just wanted to share it with everybody. I tried using these programs to run the regular Corsair program on a Mac. It did not work successfully, at least if it does work, it's really hard to get to work because I never got it. Um, but as when I was Googling that, I found I came across this program. Somebody actually made one um, for the Corsair keyboard for a Mac. It's called CKB, or just Google K65 uh, software from Mac. It's already open up here at the top, so nothing happened. But you can see um, when I do this, if I hit um, F1 and F2, it goes through my things because that's what they're set to do. It's set to switch the modes. Um, I can also change it to brightness. You can customize the keys and you can customize the lighting. Um, I know you can't see my keyboard, but that's what my keyboard's doing right now is um, what the little dots are doing. Um, that's my favorite one right there. This one is what it came with, but I like that one because it's faster. Um, that's pretty much what the keyboard comes as as default. Now what's cool about this is the mute switch. Um, I muted it and the mute switch lit up. But if I change the volume with something like my mouse, because I have the little uh, scroll on my master set to the volume, or if I go up here and I mute it, the mute switch on the keyboard actually lights up when I do that and will go off when I move it back up, which is really cool. Um, just in my opinion, I think it's cool that that works with this keyboard, especially since this is something not designed to work on a Mac. Now, before I had this program, I plugged it into my Windows computer to save some lighting profiles to it, thinking I can set it up on my Windows computer, plug it into my Mac, and just switch through the profiles on the keyboard. That's not the case, because the keyboard actually needs the Windows computer to process the lighting effects. So it won't work on a Mac at all. The lights won't work at all. It will work as a keyboard, but without lights. As soon as I installed this program, with as the program opened up, the keyboard came to life and the lights lit up. Now you can close this and it will run in the background. It runs right up here. You can click restore to open it back up. You can uh, create a new mode. Um, my keyboard just went white because uh, there's no mode. But you can choose these uh, different ones. There's all these different things. Or you can go and just set each key. Um, set it to red or you can uh, highlight a section of the keys and set those. So now those are pink over here and these are red. Same thing you can do on the uh, Corsair software where you can drag it and stuff like that. Um, so that is really cool and it's really better that you can uh, actually update your keyboard and everything. You can update your keyboard and everything through this program. It actually it does pretty much everything. You can customize the keys, as I said, and the lighting effects, um, and these modifier keys you can do. Um, it shows that you can uh, launch this at the um, at your Mac startup, so it automatically comes up and the lights will start working. So it works great. Everything seems to work as it does on Windows with the Corsair software. So. Definitely recommend it. I'm gonna to try to put the link down in the description to where you can download the actual program. But this has been ConwellThiopReviews.com. Have a great day.